With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Here we talk about this question. In this question, we are asked to give two examples for each of the following. So we look at the first one, that's the acute diseases. So these are the diseases which have just short-term effects, right? These diseases have only short-term effects, as in they can be cured, right? They can be one, uh, if they're treated, right? They can be cured easily, right? They can be cured by time right so their effects cannot be seen for so much of time right so if we consider the two examples of the acute diseases right so the examples are the viral fever right viral fever right and the flu right because they these are the diseases which can which are uh, you know cured within a week or within a week to 10 days right hence they're considered as the acute diseases now the chronic diseases are the ones which pose long-term effects onto the individual right and which basically takes longer time to be cured right which takes longer time to be cured right so we consider the examples here right of the chronic disease so the examples are basically the tuberculosis right example is basically the tuberculosis right and the encephalitis right it's the encephalitis right now if we talk about the next part right so the next part is basically the infectious diseases so these are the so these are those diseases which are caused some which are caused by some infectious agent right which are which are caused by some infectious agent right either from the infected person to the normal person right or when some infectious agent enter into the body of the organism causes this these diseases right so the example is like chicken pox and smallpox right smallpox right and the chicken pox so these are basically the infectious diseases as they are caused by some infectious agent that is the virus right now we have the last part that's non-infectious diseases so these are those diseases which do not require right which do not require any infectious agent right where their uh, causal does not involve any infectious agent right and the examples if we include are basically the diabetes right diabetes cancer right so these are the two examples of each of the type of disease right for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today